This video will show you how to get started on your research for Professor Scala's Comp 1 class. Anytime you are preparing for research, let your assignment be your guide. It will tell you the number of sources you will need and what types of sources you can use. You need to find resources related to areas of deception in your major or field. You have the choice of using sources from the web or library databases. This video will take a brief look at finding information on the web and also look at a helpful library database. As a Massasoit student, you have access to a wide range of information through the library. Although when we search Google, our results may seem infinite, what we are seeing is only what is freely available online. Massasoit has access to lots of resources that you will not find in a Google search. Rather, they are available through databases that we pay for access to. Databases are collections of articles from newspapers, magazines, and journals. They will also sometimes have images, books, and video clips as well. Databases can save you time with searching because you won't have advertisements or personal websites that clog up your search. You also won't have that annoying problem of reading a certain number of articles and hitting a paywall where you have to pay to keep reading. The information that you find in databases has gone through an editing process, which is not always true of websites. Before you begin searching for information, the next step is to think about your topic and what you would like to know more about. You can even search for multiple topics to see what information is available. Brainstorm some possible topic ideas. You also want to think about your research topic in terms of keywords for searching. That is, the important words that describe your topic. If you use hashtags on social media, keywords are like the hashtags for your topic. They describe what you're looking for. For example, if I was going to research fake news as an area of deception in the library field, my keywords would be libraries and fake news. Let's start searching. If you use Google to find information, there are a few tips to keep in mind. The first is to use click restraint. Don't automatically click on the first result you see. We all do it. Take a minute to look at your first page of search results to get a feel for the information neighborhood. Look for reputable website names that you recognize, newspaper or magazine titles, or professional organizations in your chosen major or field. Using click restraint only takes a few extra seconds, but it can make a difference in the sources you decide to review. It can also save you time from clicking on ads or other sponsored content. To view library databases, go to our library website, library.massasoit.edu. When you get to the library website, click on the link for course guides and scroll down to the guide for Comp 1. This will have all of the information that you need to do any kind of Comp 1 research assignment. When you get to this page, scroll down to the box that says zero in on what you need. We're going to look at the database called Opposing Viewpoints. When you are off campus, you will be prompted to enter your Massasoit username and password before gaining access to the database. Opposing Viewpoints contains a range of sources and also has a great list of topic ideas if you haven't decided on one yet. If you know what you want to search for, enter your keywords into the search box. If you would like to look at topic ideas, click on the link to browse issues. Topics display in alphabetical order. You can scroll through or use this drop-down menu to look at topics broken down by subject. Let's look at a topic page as an example. You will see an overview article at the top of the page. Click on Read More to view the full article. Here you will find background information on a topic, and these overview articles can also be helpful if you're deciding if you want to continue on and find more information on a subject. Articles and opposing viewpoints have lots of helpful tools built in. You can translate the article, change the font size, or listen. You can also send articles directly to Google Drive. Since you're writing an annotated bibliography, the citation for the information that you find is especially important. At the top of the page, you'll see a Cite tool. Click here to view the MLA 8 citation. I've left my overview article and now I'm back on the topic page. Underneath the overview article, you'll see a table of contents of the different types of resources covered in opposing viewpoints. You'll find magazine and newspaper articles, videos, statistics, audio stories, and more. You'll also notice that they point out helpful websites as well. One thing that's especially helpful about opposing viewpoints is that any of these sources has a citation associated with it. 
So in the same place where you found the citation in the overview article, all of these resources have a citation as well. So that's going to be a huge time saver as opposed to just searching the web for information. To view more information, you can click on any of these links or scroll down the page to view the boxes. If you need help at any point along the research process, the library is here to support you. From your Comp 1 Library Guide, you can find all of the information that you need to contact us right here from this box. You can use the Chat Now feature to be connected to a librarian through instant message. Chat is available from Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can send me an email, or you can set up an appointment to meet with me through a phone call or by Zoom. Good luck with your research, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.